I'm loving it. The job is great also, so that makes it great. There's so much to do around us and there's just so much food and everything. And um, we've been like trying out places every day and just trying to uh, expand our horizons and figure out everything that's over here. Um, but within a day, I was at a Best Buy, so. <laughs> Literally the day after we got here, I went to Best Buy. <laughs> I actually might have gone to Best Buy same day. Um... I don't know. I definitely have gone a lot though because I had to pick up uh, the new routers, the new Google Nest Wi-Fi routers. Um, I also had to go get a mini HDMI to HDMI for my camera. Okay. But, yeah, everything has been great here. Um, I'm loving the job. Uh, a lot of what I'm doing is like, yes, using the Canon Cameron. I'm glad it's looking good. I got to remember that I have it facing a certain way and I have to like stay in the middle. Um, a lot of what I'm doing though for my job is just, ooh, okay, that was a crit. It's a lot of ARA work, but like plus. <laughs> uh, Jay Finney, you don't know how many times I've been asked by my family and, uh, just anyone else that knows like uh, my sister-in-law has also asked me just like I get questions about advice on TVs so often it's insane it's stopped mostly now um, oh wow tackle is base 35 in this game quick attacks base 40 uh, but yeah I was super tempted to not do grinding and to do um, rare candies again, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do it the traditional way. Because especially on days like today where I've got a good amount of people in chat. It's just nice to be able to mindlessly do this and talk to y'all. Especially because I haven't seen y'all in a long time. I miss you guys. I really do. Don't miss the job. Miss the people. Oh, um, thank you, Rameek. I'm glad to, I'm glad to hear that you miss me as well. Um, so right before, uh, right before I moved, I came into uh, 158. Um, I came into 158 to return some of my radios uh, to buy a screen protector for my wife and to uh, to give Rip some sweaters and he was like well man to let you know we all miss you but i think justin misses you the most right now i was like really why is that and he's like because he's basically the only ara <laughs> 
<laughs> and I felt bad. That's the, like, to be quite honest, the only reason I felt bad uh, after I put my two weeks in was knowing that Justin was going to be left to... Justin was going to be left to basically work by himself for like a month or two because the new ARAs would have to get up to speed and Thomas wasn't going to work on the bench. I really like this song. Of course I do, it's for your strong. Oh, I'm glad to hear old Cameron's doing good. Oh, Ramik, yesterday was your last day? How did that go? Did you cry? Alright, that's a three, so Kurt does six. Ooh. That did five, so Crit will do ten, so I'm not going to stay in. <laughs> You know what's funny about that, Rumi? On my last day, uh, on my last day, I came into work and Rip came up to me and looked at everyone else and said, wow, we should really give Shane some credit. And I said, why is that? And he said, because you're the first agent to show up on their last day. <laughs> Crit me, don't crit me, don't crit me. Dude, that store started getting so different after I left. That, I, J, J Finney, I was talking, Christian and I went to get um, dinner before I left. And one of the things I said to him was uh, the turning point of everything like when everything really started changing was after you left. Like you got out of there at the perfect time because right after you left pandemic hit and then we closed down and then once we opened back up, Sam left, Jesse left, Christian left, Logan left, Eli left. Uh, Chase left. Karan left. Did Karan leave before the pandemic? I. Th Does anyone remember if Karan left before or after the pandemic? Who would have thought that leaving Best Buy would have caused their their demise? <laughs> I'm all powerful. Star 158 will never be the same. And I don't know any of these blueberries. Yeah, I mean, I would like... I would put it in Geek Squad terms, but I literally knew no one in Geek Squad before I worked there. I knew Donovan. Sam... Sam doesn't talk to me anymore. I text him, and he just doesn't answer. I'm like so excited for for Ian to eventually get out of there. He needs to leave. That place is killing him.
Wow, this uh, this Mankey's taken a long time to train. Um, yes, Bryce is the last man standing. Well, the last of like the associates. All right, we're actually gonna have to switch train here. Is this also for your strong? No. Brigades. Really good. I like this. Did I just miss tackle? Is that what happened? Um, but yeah, as you can see from my team, the why does it say I have... Okay, we're gonna restart this script. There we go. Um, one day I hope we can all get together again. It's nice. It's it's nice to know that you're talking to me through chat. I obviously can't see you, but <laughs> it's nice to know you're there. Yeah, it, it really is just missing the people. Although, Jay Finney, uh, Christian and I were talking about how much we miss the days where uh, they would be able to, like, overstaff home theater on the weekends um, on, like, really dead Sundays. And we would all literally just be standing by the answer center talking and just hanging out. Like me, you, Jesse, Christian, Carlos Carter, who's also gone. Ooh. Those were the days. Yeah, that that was when you were in Lifestyles, you and T. You and T were best buddies. Oh, this is gonna be annoying having to train this Weedle. <laughs> T was your, um, he was your mentor. I was molded into a fine man. That's fair. Uh, let's see if I can kill this Pidgey, shall we? I did, I did it. Oh, uh, also, whoever said that Bryce is the last one standing, Keon is also there. So, Keon, unfortunately, is one of those last people standing there. Standing. Hey, when is your birthday? <laughs> I just need to know people's birthdays so I can, like, text them happy birthday. This is risky. Okay. Oh, uh, we're gonna go up here. Yeah, they like screwed him pretty bad though. Um, because they were originally gonna give him full time back there. Uh, yeah, Keon came back, um, he was working in home theater for a while, and then he recently moved to the install bay, um, and they were going to give him full time back there, and then they decided to just give him part time, and that they would slowly transition him over to being um, an agent back there so they just had him working the floor most days and like working one shift in the install bay um and then after a while instead of working him more hours in the install bay they hired someone else for full time and basically just worked him on the floor every day i think now they're putting him in the install bay more which is what he wants to do um but 
they they really they really screwed him yeah that's that's who that random dude is he's the new full-time installer he seems like a nice guy but it's just frustrating because obviously I'm friends with Keon I gotta text him I told him I wouldn't that I would keep in touch Yeah, I thought he was a customer too until he came back into the precinct wearing a Geek Squad shirt one day. Um. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, ouch, what, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about, nothing happened. Changing the frame won't save you. Save me from what? It's fine. Now we can not have to... Should have named her Barry. I... I Uh, but yeah, I probably probably would have lived if I named her Barry. Yeah, F's to pay respect. But hey, now this grinding session will go a lot faster. If I don't do dumb things again. Oh, like this. Nope, uh, nope, we're gonna switch and then run. Um, happy belated birthday. Statistically, things named Barry live longer. Um, Cameron, I need to... I need to see the stats on this. Oh, did you drink too much for me? <laughs> Is that what you mean by it hit you like a truck? Do that. Just be useless info about bees. Save the bees, man. Okay. So we are all set now to go run through this forest with just Pidgey. Get out of here. Get out of here. Respect bees. Bees are saving our planet, man. What is this item? Probably something useless. Yep. Actually, post potion can be useful outside of battle. All right. I'm that Pidgey. Is about to get folded. The only thing saving our planet. You're not wrong. All right. What does this guy have? 
Yeah, that I'm that's how hardcore I'm going here, by the way. I'm looking up all of these trainers. If this is Bug Catcher Rick, he has a Weedle and a Caterpie. Yep, Weedle and a Caterpie. All right. <laughs> yeah, I always imagine things like that. Like if these games were real life and people just got absolutely destroyed like these trainers do. Like how embarrassed would you have to be? Like it would it would make me consider never Pokemon battling again. What's the level cap? 14? Okay. And Pidgey's gonna be useless in this next gym, so getting him to level 14 is fine. It's Bulbasaur who I'm gonna need. Dude, that's what I wanna know. How does anyone in this game, like, decide that they're just gonna be. They're just gonna catch one type of Pokemon? Like, I get it for gym leaders because. Like, that's inherently what a gym is, is one tight. But for, like, a bug catcher. How did he wake up one... How did bug catcher Rick wake up one day and say, I'm specifically only going to catch bugs. I'm going to become bug catcher Rick. <laughs> changed his name and everything. He changed his last name to Rick, first name to Bug, middle name to Catcher. Yo, I don't know. The the, the solo type runs though are crazy. Like uh, Flygon HG does a lot of them, and he's so so good. Um, and uh, Sylph Spectre, Antler Boy. Like, all of those guys, they put so much time and effort into those runs and have to think of such crazy strategies to get through them. The fact that Flygon HG was able to get to the champion or to the Elite Four, I don't remember if he beat the Elite Four champion with two Pokemon, because in Pokemon Platinum, or Pokemon Diamond or per and Pearl, there are two Fire-type Pokemon. Um, the starter, Chimchar, and Ponyta. And he did a fire type only run of Pokemon Diamond, I want to say, and ran through that game with two Pokemon. Like, the strategies you have to come up with for that are absolutely insane. Ju Justin, I don't. <laughs> I don't know if. I don't know if drones work like that. Are you expecting the bees to, like, carry mail or something? Deliver Amazon packages? Um, but yes, Jay Finney, I agree that bug catchers are less cool than karate masters. The ones that always um, were strange to me were the psychic trainers. Okay, Ramik, maybe he was born with that name, but then... Are people just going around naming their pe their children Bug Catcher Doug, Bug Catcher Anthony, Bug Catcher Charlie, Bug Catcher Sammy? <laughs> Justin, I think Cameron has you on this one. What type of trainer would I be? Okay, well, my favorite uh, Pokemon is Arcanine. So. Oh, I would absolutely be a fire breather. Have you seen the fire breathers in this game? It would let me uh, let myself go.
cap. What do you mean cap? I would absolutely be a fire breather. Are you questioning my commitment to fire? I was a boy scout. We built huge fires. I love fire. No one's allergic to drones, bro. I, I don't know, man. Someone can be... Al okay, that could be wrong. There could be silicone parts of the drone. And people are allergic to silicone. Lawyered. Ninety percent accuracy. No, I'd rather use quick attack. All right, Justin. <laughs> oh, Justin, has Thomas uh, done anything with Pinkney's phone yet? trainer okay Arcanine is my absolute favorite Pokemon um, but, but only Geodude you can't evolve them you have to like you have to eventually get to a point where you are more powerful than the champion in the game like champion in the region and you have level like 80 Geodudes. Fire Breather Shane, yeah. I now want this to happen, Rameek. I want Pokemon to be real just so this can be a thing. Squirtle Squad. Yes, exactly. Even though I'm pretty sure the Squirtle Squad, like, they all have to be, like, level 3. They were pansies. Also, I'm pretty sure, um... Ash is... Oh, I have to be careful because Pokemon can die from poison in this game. Stream it. I want to watch a Geodude only run. Um, I've been th I've thought about stre streaming solo runs. Uh, the problem is that they just like I feel like get boring at a point, and you can't do like a hardcore like you have to use items in a solo run. It's impossible not to. And I like the thing I'm doing now. I like uh. I like doing hardcore nose logs. I did, uh, back in the day, just in my free time, I did a solo run of Pokemon Heart Gold or Soul Silver. Yes, Rameek, I can't explain it, Genlock, because you were not here when I explained it. Um, a gen lock is basically, um, I'm going to be r going through every single generation of Pokemon. Um, and this is substituting gen one, uh, and then heart gold is going to be substituting gen two because playing the gen one and gen two games, they're very broken and it's really easy to just sweep through those games. So it's just not as much of a challenge. Also, um... There's just mechanics in those games that are really annoying, like the bags are limited sizes, um, so you have to like sell and dumb things all the time anyway. Um, after, yes, this is through multiple games. So after I beat the champion of this game, the team that I beat the Elite Four and the champion with gets transferred over to the next game 
as eggs. Um, and the idea was brought up to me earlier that I will replace one of those Pokemon with the starter of the next game. Um, but we will... It, you're basically transferring those Pokemon over to the next game in order to keep some consistency and to make it a little more interesting as far as like what Pokemon you have and uh, encounters to start and things of that nature. But uh, it's going to be Pokemon Leaf Green, then Pokemon Heart Gold, then Pokemon Emerald, Pokemon Platinum, Pokemon Black, Pokemon White 2, Pokemon X, Pokemon Sun, and then Pokemon Ultra Moon. So this is going to be a long journey, but it's going to be a lot of fun. Pokemon runs are so interesting to be. I should never look through to look into them before I saw your streams. Yeah, um, I've always, like, I've for a long time been into Pokemon Nuzlocks. Um, I, like, that's just mainly what I do with these games because it makes them more interesting to me and more, and more fun. Um, and then more recently, like in the last year or two, probably two years, I've found, like, the hardcore Nuzlocke community on YouTube and Twitch and they're so much more fun uh, because it's so easy to cheese your way through a normal Nuzlocke with items. Um, you just put like a bulky Pokemon in front and heal all of your Pokemon in the back. Bring your sweeper out until it gets low. Bring the bulky Pokemon back out. Heal all your Pokemon. I hope there's not an issue going from Heart Gold Soul Silver to Elmerald with a Pokemon not being available since Heart Gold Soul Silver is too important. Um... It's a good point. Uh, I think the way I go about that is I don't use Gen 4 Pokemon or don't evolve Pokemon that get evolutions in Gen 4. Like I won't evolve um, Magmar into Magmortar or Electivire, I mean Electabuzz into Electivire, things like that. Now the last Pokemon to train is Bulbapedia. Actually, let me real quick just go run through the one trainer in Brock's gym. Easy. With the way the encounters went, I probably could have taken Charmander and had this still be really easy because of Mankey. The second gym would have been more challenging. But, like, there's a pretty high chance I catch a Bell Sprout or an Oddish in one of the upcoming routes. Is anyone here old enough to play the original Red and Blue? Yeah, man. That was, like, the first video game I played. My sister gave me her original Game Boy. And I was, and I bought Pokemon Red. Well, I didn't buy it. My parents bought me Pokemon Red as a present. Or Pokemon Blue. And I played that game all the time. That's why I am so familiar with how broken that game is. And, like, I played... What is happening? I played every... Uh, Pokemon game up to Pokemon Black. Um, like, I started playing Pokemon Black and then never finished it. Didn't play Black 2 or White 2. Played X and Y. Uh, played Oras. Played Sun and Moon. And I did not play Ultra Sun or Ultra Moon. And then I played Sword. But every other game I played. Did I hit level 14? Yes. Okay, so let's do this. 
Time to fight Brock. There, I don't need any strategy going into this one because Brock is super easy when you have a grass type. So let me, we're gonna pause this music. We're gonna turn on game audio. Okay. Exactly, that's what I was saying earlier. If you got an Abra, uh, even if you didn't evolve it into an Alakazam, you could sweep through that entire game, but um, if you were lucky enough when you were younger to have a friend to be able to trade with and you could get an Alakazam, you could beat that entire game with just Alakazam. My rock hard willpower is evident even in my Pokemon. Thanks, Brock. My Pokemon are all rock hard and have true grit determination. That's right, my Pokemon are all the rock type. You're going to challenge me knowing that you'll lose? That's the trainer's honor that compels you to challenge me. Fine then, show me your best. <laughs> okay. It's like, it helps that all his Pokemon are four times weak to grass. Oh my god, Onyx outspeeds Bulbasaur? That's like kind of ridiculous. That crit did not matter. Um... I think I would rather sleep powder over poison powder. <laughs> 